So, Bradley, uh, I heard there's a problem with the situation in Honey Bay. Is there? You don't want to arm Honey Bay? No, I don't want anybody yeah. attacking Honey Bay. We don't have a choice. Uh, we know... Uh, the thing is, Bradley, we know exactly one to one the war plans, and that's one of the main targets, Honey Bay Island. Mm. Um, so then make so it look tactical. not like a threat, so they won't want to attack it. Oh no, they want to attack it, that's right. They won't. We literally have a list of their war plans. The, the literal war plans like go to Honey Bay, then go to uh, Outer Speak, and then go to the capital, that's it. Alternative idea. Considering that the majority of the nations on the server are involved in Honey Bay, perhaps conveying to them that they would be attacking something that is part of the majority of the nations on the server. Of an international. And it, it would be attacking the international. It that's is an international it. project. We... We don't want them to but know the that we know we the war plans. We don't want war. We don't want war. We don't want them to know that we know the war plans. In the war plans, they said they are going to build a new fort east to them near Shroom Hill, and that's exactly what they are doing at the moment. So, Bradley, I, I it is internal affairs, and I, and I'm sure Orc would agree with this. I, I ask you would suspend all foreign relations just with Cosmia. We don't have any. Like you can do whatever. But like, if they contact you, just just notify us and just say we can meet tomorrow. And just keep keep delaying, it, please. It's the Eshdal versus Cosbia. Marvel, ninety nine percent sure they will join on the side of Cosbia because we have actual proof that they want to do a unification. They, they even invited Elias. No, I asked want... them to get information. Yeah. I asked them. We are po I don't believe they are mm -hmm. actually falling for it. We are just putting the same uh, strategy once again. We also ninety percent sure uh, Winterfall uh, would be on our side. We have the number advantage. If Grimsburg, Navoa, Elias. Volunteers like three or four from Sirius and the entire nation of um, Winterfell join in the war. We will sweep them. Cosbia has been over there doing their own thing, isolated for their entire time since they've begun their nation, and they have not been shy about bragging about all the things that they have achieved. Yeah. If they're right. declaring war on a three-nation federation, do you think that they intend to just be swept by numbers? Yes. No way. They, I think, they're not that I think dumb. They have, they, yeah, they have to have something behind the scenes running. Do you trust completely the person who gave you this information? Yes. Do we? Because if they're lying... I mean, this war plan here, it it's not 100% confirmed, but they literally said in their war plan that they're going to build a fort here, and they literally have just built yeah. the fort there. Yeah. Even if yeah. it's not confirmed, that's our best chance at the moment. We have no other, like, options. As for I... Honey Bay, yes. a thought. I understand where you're coming from. I, I don't want it to be armed. However, if you want to prepare things like cannons or fortifications or whatever else, if that makes you feel safer since it is your land, then that's okay. But the plan currently is to announce it as being open for like claiming and starting shops tomorrow morning. If you do that like like the next half hour and you say Honey Bay Island is international area and yeah. anyone can claim a shop and, and if they attack it. Yeah, that's sure. what I'm thinking because I don't, yeah. I don't want to turn it into a military the, the, the other place. Option, the other option is that they would just change their plans and then we would not know what they are going to do. If they are going to harm Honey Bay in any way, I'm going to burn their entire city to the ground. I'm not willing to let them destroy any part of my federation.
Eshtel has told me very specifically not to have foreign communications. So I have a feeling that what I'm about to do may not go over incredibly well. Nano wants to meet. Nano as in ruler of Cosbia. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Obviously, there's probably going to be a war very soon. And yeah. we, we're, we are offering that if you help us in the war, you will be granted your, your old political system and control of your own nation. Interesting. So things will go back to how it was before. I, I know you probably don't have reason to trust me since last time, last time we were together, uh, we betrayed you. But this time, I think our interests have aligned. Let me lay it out from my point of view. And you can tell me what you think or what you have to offer. We we obviously did have a pact before when we were going to war against Nivoa. Uh, as I recall, we gave you quite a bit of netherite for, for no return, which Nivoa was certainly not any better than you were given that we were conquered by them. But we have, as you probably know, joined into Eshtel with them. And I can't say that yep. there's no bitterness from both sides there, but... They've given us beacons, weapons, armor. So my question to you would be, what can you give that would be worth more than that? Because our system before could be valuable. That's true. But we have security at the moment. If we go into war and the Voat is taken down, then you, you guys will probably lose that security you have and you will be by yourself as a nation. We'll offer you land, like the land that some of the land that was taken from you in the first war. Can I ask why? Why what? Why you've chosen to fight Nivoa? Obviously, they're probably the strongest superpower. They've been expressing a lot of control. So then I take it that the nations that you're currently allied with are ones who feel similarly threatened by Nivoa and them trying to change everybody's government system, exerting too much control. Yes. What would happen with Honey Bay and Granva? Granva is probably, we want to grant it independency. Honey Bay, we will we'll have the fort and we'll leave the market for international use, of course. You're aware that the fort is not defensive, right? There's no cannons. The fort is Actually, not a fort anymore. It's just we a We were building. told that in order to attack Nivoa, we would have to go through Honey Bay first. Did Nivoa tell um, you that? In a meeting, yeah. Interesting. If I'm being honest, I don't think either one of you are trustworthy at the moment, at least based on my past experience. So it's more a matter of who I think I can trust least. I have tried to work hard with Nivoa to keep Honey Bay as a peaceful place. I didn't want them putting anything militaristic there. Although I think that they've begun doing that against my wishes anyways, because it is their land and I can't really do that much to stop them. The stuff with Grimsburg was upsetting, but the stuff with Honey Bay is more upsetting. The way that they have kind I of started to take over. I think that's all the questions I have for now, and I will try to talk to people and get an answer as quickly as I can. Thank you for meeting with me. Thank you for coming to this meeting. Call each other also on our side now, and there's a big chance that Manfred will, to, will also switch to our side. Uh, I want to talk with you, um, just wanted to make sure um, that the thing that happened with Andrew will not happen in Greensburg as well, because to be frank, uh, Andre was the only person that wanted wanted to leave the war, and he didn't even told us about it. Just left. Do you believe something like that would happen in Greensburg? That we would leave? Yes. No. I think the problem with Andre, as you could have seen both from this war and the Greensburg war, he is the rat. Well, Andre does what suits him in the moment. But he su the, that's the thing: the keyboard suits him, not the, not even his own nation. Mm -hmm. Only him as a person. Well, Ilios was meant to be the most peaceful nation, and he was the one who put them at the center of the last war. And he's doing all of this for his own benefit, but then nobody is actually going to be there for him when he needs it, because he's not actually there for anybody else. It's time for a history lesson with Bradley. Here's what you need to know. First of all, ignore whatever's going on right here. We're going to pretend that that's not there. Okay, imagine that that's Kalisher. And that is a new place called Volderin. Because they're non-existent now, they have joined to create a new nation. That's not important, that's not the focus of this history lesson. What is the focus is trying to make sense of what happened. Okay, so Cosbia 
these guys. Green, in this case, is going to be the bad guys. Before the war, Cosbia allied with Malmfio. Nivoa, in their federation, has Grimsburg and Ilios. Briefly, Malmfiel and Vinterfold had an alliance, but that does not exist anymore. Instead, Orch offered them some netherite, so Vinterfold allied with us. Orch also got the Volderin Empire, and then also got Kalisher to ally with us, and then it was after this that Kalisher and Volderin formed the Imperium, which is this weird thing. The, the, the map marker is broken, ignore it. Okay, Andre from Ilios decided that he wanted to leave the war because he didn't want to have to fight for Nivoa in a war that should have just been between Osbia and Nivoa. A couple people were with him on leaving the Federation, but they didn't want to leave the fighting. So for a moment, we thought Andre was a traitor. But then he turned out not being a traitor, but he still publicly became a traitor, invaded Cosbia to learn about their war plan so that we knew where they were going to attack. So for a while, Andre's own people thought that he had betrayed his own country, when in fact he didn't. But then, right before the war, Malmfiel also allied with Nivoa. So to recap, it is Cosbia against Nivoa, Grimsburg, Ilios, Volderin, Kalisher, Vinterfold, and Malmfiel with Andre working behind the scenes in Cosbia. All right, I'm gonna go take the canals there. Okay. Should I follow you? Um, no, like, you don't have anything to hide from. Right, okay, I didn't I'm... know if you were going straight there. I'm a traitor. <laughs> yes, well, I, I know you are. Oh, well, Leprechaun's probably sees me. What the fish doing? Bruh. What's, what's he's that? diving down there, just so you know. He's just dived down a ravine. Is that where you uh -oh. are? Is he down here too? Is is Leprechaun down here? Oh, I yes. see him. Yeah, he's at the the obsidian or like the God. chamber that the obsidian thing is in. What's so funny is like I'm not even supposed to be here too. I know. <laughs> where are you down here? I'm in my little hell hole. All right. <laughs> he's so close. Because like <laughs> honestly, I don't know who's a spy or not. I know Pancake's not one. I know you're not one since you've been here forever. I, I trust Leprechaun enough. Bruh. Pancake, you're the president. Can you explain the Leprechaun? Uh. Oh, no. God. Pancake, I swear to God, no. Pancake, no. Pancake, I please, no. Yes, don't tell anyone, Pancake. Oh, my God. You're messaging me. Pancake, <laughs> oh, my God. I swear <laughs> to God. You know, what's his name? He already caught me trying to head here to go talk to Orange. Leprechaun. Who did? Oh. Leprechaun. So, like, he he knows something's up. That's confirmed, for sure. Pancake, what, what did you say? What did you say? I had to tell him. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> you told him that I was working deep cover in Cosbia? Yeah, he was like, oh. what is going on? We just okay. have to hope he doesn't spread that too much. Are we gonna- we're gonna end up telling everyone, Pancake. <laughs> I swear to God. What is Jay gonna say? Oh, sorry, Trusco. Is he still staring? Yep, yeah, he's just he watching, say? dude. Jay's just like- Jay even saw me too trying to head to Andre and Ape- <laughs> Bruh! Pancake, we're gonna end up telling half of Ilios. Imagine just trying to go mining and finding your president who's defected to the enemy. I just wanted to get a couple beacons. This is such a mess. More or less, like, if Ben knows, this is gonna fucking yeah, get four me. <laughs> You didn't say fight the withers. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be a mess. Oh, <laughs> All right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm mining away from my life right now. <laughs> I don't think you guys understand how close this is to Helios, by the way. This is so loud. Oh my god. I mean, we're at a Oh my fucking god, I'm gonna die. I'm yeah, sorry, I think I keep shooting you. Yeah, Bradley, you keep shooting me. Well, you shouldn't be in the way, Andre. <laughs> Do I have three netherite ingots in my inventory? Hopefully I don't die. I don't want to die. I don't know how to get back here. <laughs> Ouch. Hey guys, I found some iron ore. Hold up. 
<laughs> hey, I found some iron art. Hold, hold up, while there's two withers. Yeah, sure, mate. Well, dude, we're low on iron. Yo, war's canceled tomorrow. <laughs> withers kill the entire other side overnight. <laughs> Wait, I got a wither rose. It gives things a wither if you step on them. Yeah, they're really good for farms. Oh, really? What did they uh, I should sell, a, I should a, sell a it. A lot of them I are think... good for farms, oh God, not one of them. Old yeah, old. one would be a really sad farm, but like, it's a star. A really bad farm. <laughs> Now everyone follow me. I'm gonna do yeah, some quick I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna do some quick ID. I'm gonna do some quick advertising. Yeah, the plan is to just have like everyone we know line up in front of the stall so we can attract attention. Yeah, man. I still, is that the little still, stall that you set up? It's the tiny really, little stall. Oh my god, you guys one. have this one. Oh my fucking That's god. That's dumbass. Right next Dude, to the the <laughs> You guys know, like, you could have just, like, asked to use the Ilios shop, it would have let you, right? Dude, I know. I like <laughs> Why this one. Why'd you buy it if you didn't have plans for it? I like this one. It's free! Bradley gave it to us free! What? Yeah. And you charged yeah, us? Yeah. For this thing? You charged us a diamond block for that thing? The rules are posted and are very clear. It's not my fault you didn't read them. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I just like Bradley it. I paid for it because I like it, bro. <laughs> it's quaint. <laughs> what are these IDs hey, meant to be for? Who did? Identification? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Come here. Bradley, here. Why are you I qualified to give out IDs? I'm qualified to give out IDs Bradley. because I see you and I can identify you. We because... also sell horses. Okay, basically his system, like in practice, was like, let's huh. use these numbers. Bradley, we'll do I'll some math we'll do some math equation. And the numbers will be real if we do this math equation. You can't but explain it to like, everybody, bro. How about, instead of doing the equation every time, we just keep a list of the real ones. And I was like, why don't we just do random numbers then? This is the well, most so made-up people... system I've ever seen. Hey, no one else listen to this. Trust me, we have, we have a, uh, we kind of have a side business that no one else knows about. We do that for you? You make It feels like ideas. you guys are listening. We feel like you, it feels like you guys are listening. I feel like I, I am a fake ID. They're cheaper Trespo. than the real ones. Trespo, can I buy a fake ID for pancakes? Are you saying that you undercut your own business with a hey, side hey, business hey, that hey, you hey, also hey, run? You are not supposed to be listening. Wait, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, the same with our horse <laughs> business. No, the same with our horse no, business. I we kill nothing. horses. We do we kill, kill horses. The horses that we I got the money. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, then you then can then pay us to spy on a person or a nation. Can I buy you to spy on someone? Sure, man. It's Jay. I can do that. How much? Oh my God! He does it all the time. Jay, I'm doing it right now. Jay, can I can I buy can I buy something from you? Nah. Can I hire oh. you also? I don't want yeah, to man. Do what do you need? I want you to spy on Andre. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Oh, I want you to spy on Andre. I can do that. How much? Okay, cool. What what are your prices? Uh, I mean, I'll Andre. Fuck it, I'll do it for a stick. A stick. Dude. You know, it'd be <laughs> Jesus. Can you spy yeah. on Bradley and Pancake for me? Hey, no. Uh, that seems uncalled for. Well, I can't do <laughs> both at the same time. Is there a scheduling that you want to make? No. I oh, so you just want, in, in general, what kind of information do you need? Everything. Everything? Like, what time and they go to the bathroom? Oh, you, you, you trying time. to pay me? Yeah, I'm trying to pay you. You guys, I have a screenshot of all the valid ID numbers. Yeah. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Jokes on you, you just gave me a magic wand, all of you are about to die. They've landed, we're fighting. Left side.